ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. Mr. House showed little interest on the Boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Despite her departure from the group, the Brotherhood's peace treaty with NCR came as some relief to Veronica. Though she remained friendly with surface patrols, she was never again permitted to enter the bunker she once called home. Fearing for the safety of anyone she associated with, she continued her solitary life as a scavenger. But reports would emerge from Mojave scientists and social workers of old equipment miraculously repaired and research notes mysteriously completed. The Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. Arcade was outraged by Mr. House's power play following the defeat of Caesar's Legion at Hoover Dam. Though he remained in Freeside for a short time after the Securitrons established widespread control, he eventually traveled back into NCR territory. Disillusioned with the followers of the apocalypse, he settled down in the outskirts of the boneyard, where he worked happily as a family doctor. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. Cass lived to see Hoover Dam in its old world glory, humming with power the likes of which the Mojave had never seen. Vegas burned brighter than ever. Securitrons filled the streets, and Cass's heart skipped just a little. Her last words were to the dam and to herself. We were going full speed ahead, but facing backwards the whole time. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Accusing the kings of lying with a foreign invader for their newfound ties to the NCR, Mr. House punished them by ordering their forced removal. The kings, defiant to the end, were destroyed to the last man by House's Securitrons. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, Many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Though NCR was withdrawing from the region, Boone remained in New Vegas, finding work as a security guard and caravan scout along the highways. While he might have preferred rejoining his old unit, Boone couldn't bring himself to abandon the city where he'd met his wife. 
Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. Despite distinguishing themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, the Rangers' victory was short-lived due to the courier's interference. Chief Hanlon personally directed the evacuation of the Rangers to Mojave Outpost as they fell back into NCR territory. Bitter over the waste of life in the Mojave, Hanlon stepped down from his post. After a campaign in which he denounced Oliver's and Kimball's hawkish, imperialist ways, Hanlon was elected as the Senator of Reading. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.